Welcome to Carolina Training and Consulting's Bank Security Training, Lesson 1 of 2, Physical Security. Every bank office should have a pre-arranged all-clear signal. The signal should be easily seen by arriving employees so they know it is safe to enter before banking hours. If you arrive at your office and the all-clear signal is not in place, do not enter. Wait outside and watch carefully. Call the police if the signal is not shown right away. Step 1. The first employee to arrive will drive completely around the building while in the safety of a locked car. Look closely for signs of forced entry, such as broken glass, open doors, ladders, crowbars, etc. Step 2. Park in the prearranged spot designated for the first person. By parking here, arriving employees know the first person is in the building and that the car wasn't left in the lot overnight. Look for unfamiliar vehicles and vehicles with people in them before you leave your car. Step 3. If two people open the building in tandem, then the first person stays in the locked car until a second person arrives. The second person will stay in the locked car with motor running, windows up, and cell phone ready. An excellent place for the second person to wait is at the drive-up window, as it is easier to observe what is happening inside. Step 4. The first person walks quickly to the entry door with key ready. Once inside, a careful walkthrough is done to search the entire building. Look under desks, in closets, over vaults and in all storage areas, bathrooms, etc. Step 5. Look up. Several early morning robberies were reported where robbers cut holes in the roof, dropped down in the lobby, and waited until the next morning for employees to arrive and clean out the vault cache. Be wary of recently disturbed ceiling tiles. This method became popular because after-hour alarms never result in police checking the roof. In fact, if you receive an after-hours alarm call, have the police meet you at the bank the next morning to conduct the security walkthrough. They will help you ensure the building is secure. Step 6. Once you are sure the building is clear, place the signal where other employees can easily see it from a vehicle. Some banks also use a second signal that can only be seen once the building is approached on foot. Step 7. Upon verifying the signal, the second person should park and quickly enter the building. Step 8. Employees who are in and already safe should help watch parking lot activity for subsequent employees to arrive, ensuring they enter safely. Management should periodically test employees on the correct application of this procedure. Remember to never jeopardize the physical safety of your coworkers by discussing the bank's security system. You may receive a call one day where the caller tells you he planted a bomb in the office. Don't panic. Most bomb threats are just that, and nothing more. However, you should take a bomb threat seriously. Follow these guidelines for handling a bomb threat call. Click each guideline for details. When finished, click the Next button. Here's a story from real life, from our own experience, involving a bomb threat. A police detective shared the story of a robbery victim teller who had called to describe the robber and the weapon. She began to describe the weapon as a pipe that the robber had claimed was a bomb. The detective asked her what the pipe looked like. She began describing it in detail and even saying, and it does have some smoke coming out of it. The detective asked, are you looking at it now? Yes, she answered. He probably scared her more than just a little when he yelled into the phone, get out of the building. The moral to this story, in the event the robber leaves a bomb behind or something that he claims is a bomb, evacuate first and call the police second.